Every liquid has a vapour associated with it. In general, the vapour pressure of a liquid A is the partial pressure of A in the vapour phase in equilibrium with the liquid. If A is pure, the vapour pressure is given the symbol P0A. But if A is mixed with another liquid B, this reduces the vapour pressure of A because there are less molecules of A to escape into the vapour phase from the surface of the liquid. Raoult's law enables you to calculate the vapour pressure of A in a mixture of two liquids A and B, in which the mole fraction of A is XA. This is expressed in equation 17.23. We're talking about the partial vapour pressure of A because there will be other substances in the vapour phase, including the vapour of the other liquid B. It's a very simple relationship. The vapour pressure of A in the vapour above the mixture is equal to the vapour pressure of pure A times the mole fraction of A in the mixture. For example, if the mole fraction of A is 0.5, only half the molecules in the liquid mixture are A, and the vapour pressure of A is 0.5 times its value when pure. We can write an equivalent expression for the vapour pressure of B, and we can use those two to write an expression for the total pressure in the vapour of A and B over the mixture. It's important to remember that Raoult's law only applies to ideal liquid mixtures. In fact, the definition of an ideal liquid mixture is that it's a mixture that obeys Raoult's law, rather as the definition of an ideal gas is that it's one which obeys the ideal gas law. But liquid mixtures deviate from ideal behaviour much more than gases do, because intermolecular attractions in liquids are much more significant than in gases. In fact, the only liquid mixtures that behave anything like ideally are those where the components are chemically similar, such as mixtures of hexane and heptane.